Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor JC coming at you live from Crossroads Community Church. Actually, I'm in my car. I'm not at Crossroads, but uh, it is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Yes, I am driving for those of you who are concerned, but my wife is holding the camera and I'm keeping my eyes on the road for the most part, unless I look at the, the phone. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to pop in real quick and uh, remind you to be thankful today. The Word of God tells us, in everything give thanks, for this is His will concerning you. And sometimes it may seem a little difficult to find things for which to be thankful, but there's always something. There's always something for which we can be thankful. And so I want to encourage you today, as we are on Thanksgiving Eve of 2020, begin to think about the things for which you're thankful. Many of us will be spending time with our families tomorrow or our friends. We may just have a small intimate gathering or you may have a huge gathering like we're going to have. But there's so many things, little things, big things for which we can be thankful. And many times we take for granted the smaller things. We don't really think about gratitude when we consider those things. I mean, we pause for our meals to pray and give God thanks for those things. But did you think about the, the backstory of even the food that you eat? Thanking God for the, the farmers who grew it. Thanking God for the ranchers who raised the, the animals. Thanking God for the soil that brought nutrition to the plants. I mean, all of these things God created for our use and for His glory. So I just want to encourage you today. You know, you may be looking at the situation or the circumstance or the, the good or the bad. Consider the backstory to that and consider what God has brought you through to bring you to that point. Um, sometimes things that we look at as difficult times or, or even cursings in our life are actually a blessing from God. And we actually should be thankful for those things because in those things we learn lessons and we grew, we, we got stronger, we matured. So in the good times and the bad times, there's always something for which to be thankful. And so as you prepare for tomorrow, you may be cooking today, you may be working today. Whatever you're doing to prepare for tomorrow, take some time and just give God thanks for all that he's done. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.